Now we're looking at how to find the intercepts of an equation using algebra. The x-intercept occurs when y equals 0. The y-intercept occurs when x equals 0, because that's when it's going to cross the x-axis and the y-axis, uh, respectively. So we start off with, we're given 3x plus y equals 12. Let's find the x-intercept. Again, that's when y equals 0. So the x-intercept, write out the equation, 3x plus y equals 0. It crosses, or excuse me, 3x plus y equals 12. It crosses the x-axis when y equals 0. So we substitute y equals 0 and we solve for x. So 3x plus 0 equals 12. 3x equals 12, divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals 4. So when y equals 0, x equals 4, so our x-intercept is 4, 0. Now for our y-intercept, it crosses the y-axis when x equals 0. So we write out our equation again, 3x plus y equals 12, only now we substitute x equals 0. So 3 times 0 plus y equals 12. 0 plus y equals 12, and y equals 12. So when x equals 0, y equals 12. So our y-intercept is 0, 12. Now we could check this, uh, but, but essentially we already did. <clears throat> if we plugged in 4, 0, we should get 12. If we plugged in 0, 12, uh, we should get 12 on the right-hand side of the equation. A and that is the case because that's essentially how we solved for it I in the first place. So our x-intercept, again, is 4, 0. And our y-intercept is 0, 12.